and welcome back. Miss Kelsey here with this week's movement lesson. Today, we are taking a closer look at the seasons. What is it like during each season and what might you be doing? We're gonna check it out, but first, let's warm up. If you are sitting at your desk, you will stand quietly behind your chair. That means you'll stand up, push your chair in, and stand behind it. If you're sitting on the floor, you will just stand quietly where you are. Everyone, please stand quietly. We are standing tall with your arms by your side and your feet together. And now for our warm up. I will go first saying, hello class, and then you say, hello Miss Kelsey. Follow me. Hello class. Hello class. Hello class. Hello class. Hello class. Hello class. Fabulous warm up. As usual, we're going to practice our shapes at three different levels. What are the three levels? We have high, middle, and low. But last time I saw you, we added transitions. What's that word again? Transitions. And that's how you get from one shape to the next shape, or one place to a new place a transition. So right now, we're going to practice our high, middle, and low shapes with a transition in between. What do we do for a transition? You could wiggle. You could spin. You could jump. You could So right now, practice safely and silently in your space. You're making three different shapes with a transition in between. Three shapes with a transition. Your shapes don't have to look like my shapes. They could be different. Everyone stand tall. I'm going to snap three times for your three shapes. Here we go. First shape. Transition. Second shape, transition, third shape, stand tall, great job. Moving on to the seasons, we talked a couple times ago about how the sun affects our seasons. If the sun is far away, then we're probably a little cold. But if the sun is closer to us, then I'm probably very hot. We know lots about that here in Louisiana, where we seem to always be close to the sun. But now we're actually in fall or autumn. How do I know if it's fall or autumn? Hmm. Ah, yes, you might see those leaves changing. You might get a little breeze in the air. And we're probably doing some things differently than we do in the summer or the spring. So, let's look at that. First, I want to make the shape 
of a leaf. Your leaf can look like any kind of leaf, but my leaf looks like this. That's one shape you might see in the fall. Another shape you might see in the fall is a pumpkin, right? That symbolizes that harvest we talked about. You might have a pumpkin. What's another shape you think you might see in the fall time? Hmm. Maybe a scarecrow. So let's move some of these things you might see in the fall. If I'm a leaf on a tree, how do you think the leaf moves to the ground? Is it quickly? No, probably not. It might be slow and swaying. Can you slowly sway to the ground?
This is his head. It's relatively small. And we have a snowman. But he's missing some things. What does he need? Eyeballs. Of course. Put some eyeballs on there. What else does he need? Stop. 
looks like. We start as a seed. And then we get some roots. And we get a little sprout. And we start growing slowly. We get leaves. And finally, a flower. Now, in the rain, there are things we can do. Like jumping in puddles. What does that look like? Or maybe you're making a mud pie. Gotta fix it really nice. What flavor is your mud pie? Draw a picture. 
picture? What would you do with your free time? Hmm, maybe some video games, maybe some movie watching, or maybe you're outside of the house, but away from the heat, at a camp. We have art camps and sports camps and ocean camps. Lots of camps going on. There are generally so many activities to do during the summer, especially for you, because there's no school. Now we're going to move through all four seasons using transitions. We'll look at shapes, transitions, non-locomotor movement, and locomotor movement, all to make this, this season dance so, we started in the fall. I'm going to make this leaf shape where we slowly sway all the way to the ground like we're floating or falling off a tree. Then, I'm going to stand up slowly and it's very windy in the fall, so slowly move around your space like we're flowing in the wind. And then we finish cooking a dinner. So show me a slow movement, like you're stirring a big pot of gumbo mashed potatoes, could be anything. So let's review our fall section. We have a leaf shape. We have some non-locomotor movement. Swaying. We have a transition with locomotor movement flowing with the wind. And we finish with this non-locomotor movement, swaying and stirring. Very nice. Let's move on to winter. In the winter time, we had some cold weather. Let's try this wiggle, a non-locomotor movement. Then we had snow, some bigger movement. Then we had New Year's, fireworks. I'm going to do one firework, transition to a new spot. Firework, transition, firework.
have some free time. So show me what you would do in your free time. I'm going to read. So we have hot. A pool trip. a little bit closer and what it looks like for you to live through them and we used transitions, non-locomotor movement, locomotor movement, and shapes to make it happen. We'll go ahead and finish with our cool down. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more breaths. One more. Cross your arms and show your teacher you are ready to listen. <laughs> 